Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and in today's video I have a Trader Joe's and Target haul because I went there today and then I also went to the Sephora sale so I'm gonna do a haul of all of that stuff but that's gonna be in a different video. But anyways, um, yeah it's been a while since I have filmed and that is because um, MBA school is no joke. It's really hard and um, I just have a lot of work due every week so this kind of like falls behind my YouTube falls behind when I have a lot of school assignments to do so that's why I haven't been posting but I have a lot of like hauls and stuff coming up so I just want to mention that but um, before I get started showing you everything I got from Trader Joe's and Target don't forget to subscribe down below um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and then also Follow me on TikTok because I post on there pretty much every day just because TikTok doesn't require any editing so I can post a TikTok but a YouTube video kind of like is a little bit more of a complex process. Um, without any further ado, let me just go ahead and get started showing you everything and I wanted to also mention that I got this today. This is not sponsored, I wish it was, but it's a Delta 8 disposable. It's rechargeable though so... It's a rechargeable disposable with Delta 8 and mine is Sativa and it is blueberry lemon diesel. That's like the flavor of it, I guess. I don't know, but it's good. It's really strong. <laughs> it's real strong. So I think I'm going to do a review video on like my experience trying Delta 8, but I'm a little bit spacey. It's just like CBD, but times 10. Like that's how I feel right now. So just go ahead and do this haul because I'm about to want to eat um, all the food so let's start first with this bag so I got Trader Joe's chewable orange flavored vitamin C they're like tablets of vitamin C and it's just good to take that you know during this time you know corona and all of that stuff so it boosts your immune system a phone just went off does the lighting look good let me see. Okay, I'm back. I tried to like fix the lighting. I don't know if it still looks the same. But I also picked up this masala sauce. This is really good with one of the frozen things that I will show you in just a second. But that's just like some dip basically and then chicken instant ramen soup. This stuff is really good but it's such a small amount and it's hard to cook it properly because it's not your typical instant ramen noodles that you can just microwave for like four minutes and it turns out perfect. This one is like more tough and chewy, but I still like it. And then I also got this cold brew coconut cream latte. So I really want to try this out. I might try this out later. Um, but that's everything that I got in this bag. And then moving on, I have another one. This one's heavy because it has a lot of liquid. But I got this Synergy Raw Kombucha Strawberry Lemonade. I've been trying to drink more kombucha because um, it's good for your digestive system and it's healthier than just having, you know, soda. It also made me have to burp like four times. So that's the first thing. And then these two soups. We're just in the produce section, so broccoli cheddar soup and then tomato feta soup. I wanted to make this one with grilled cheese, the tomato soup, and dip the grilled cheese in the soup. And next are these Spana Capita. These go in the oven and they're just delicious. They have this stuff at Greek restaurants, so I've had it a couple of times and I really enjoy it. And then next is this mini chicken tikka samosas. This goes with that masala sauce that I showed you earlier. So I like to dip these in the masala sauce and it's really, really good. And then now moving on, oh my gosh, these are like iconic in my house. I eat these every day. It's the Trader Joe's Far Fall, Far, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's basically bow tie pasta with four cheeses and spinach. It's gas, let me tell you, it is straight fire. I love these and they're just so easy and quick. Like all you do is microwave it. More stuff from the produce section is the carnitas with salsa verde burrito and black bean and cheese burrito. So I wanted to try these 
kind of reminds me of the Amy's burritos, gives off a similar vibe, but I ate those too much in college and now I, I never want to see an Amy's burrito ever again. Next, moving on. Okay, my mom got this eggplant parmesan. Also, I'm getting progressively like, as this video goes on, I'm feeling the Delta 8 like more and more. So I'm just, I'm just vibing, honestly. And then um, linguine with clam sauce. Linguine with clam sauce. This goes on the skillet, super simple. Then some frozen broccoli because I add the frozen broccoli to this fettuccine alfredo. It's like a broccoli fettuccine alfredo. I love it, it's so good. Um, last bag from Trader Joe's, okay. So we have these garlic and cheese breadsticks. This would also be good with that tomato soup. So if I'm too lazy to make a grilled cheese, I can just do some of this. And then, I keep saying and then, so sorry. I need to come up with a different transition word, but breaded corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. Basically Takis, but less poisonous and hazardous to your health. Um, we have some sourdough bread. This could be fire with either avocado, um, grilled cheese, like, I don't know. I just want to get it. I haven't had sourdough bread in a while. I'm running out of counter space to stack stuff. So, oh my god, I stepped on the bag, oops. Okay, I got this spice chai black tea concentrate because Victoria Paris on TikTok used to always get this stuff and I don't know, she's iconic, I love her. Um, so I wanted to try the spice chai, see what it's all about. And then the last thing from Trader Joe's is this so we have the bear bells protein bars i'm only familiar with the caramel cashew i've had that one so many times so i decided to branch out and also get salty peanut um cookies and cream and another salty peanut i had a caramel cashew one for breakfast let's just you know try the salty peanut one just like a little bit also, I saw someone say to put them in the refrigerator, no, the freezer, so it tastes like a frozen candy bar. Mmm. This is so good. It tastes like a Snickers bar. But I don't need to eat, I don't need to eat a second protein bar in one day, so I'm not going to eat it. But I'm going to put two of them, I'll put salty peanut and cookies and cream in the freezer. And then leave the other ones just normal, because I want to try it frozen, so... That is everything from Trader Joe's, so we're gonna do a brief intermission so I can clear the counter space and prepare for the Target portion of today's video. I'm back. Next up, we have Target. So I picked up the Good & Gather Vanilla Confetti Granola. This stuff is amazing, like to just snack on or if you wanna have this as your cereal and just do like um, oat milk and this, oh my God, so good, so delicious. And then I picked up three of these Adrenaline Shock energy drinks in the flavor, hopefully this bag doesn't fall, in the flavor Acai Berry. Um, this guy that I used to date would always drink these and I would literally take it from him and drink it. It's so good, but I like the cotton candy ones. They just didn't have that at the Target that I went to but highly recommend. These are the strongest energy drinks I've ever had, like ever in my entire life. Um, it has 300 milligrams of caffeine, so it's really not a joke. Um, if you drink that, I would not recommend having any caffeine pre-workout, like any other source of caffeine um, in addition to that because you will probably feel sick if you have that and more caffeine because then you'll be like overly caffeinated and then i have two more granola things in this bag i got a lot of granola stuff but these are the bare naked granola bites in dark chocolate and sea salt and coconut and cashew i'm trying to like eat healthier snack on healthier things in this last bag here i have powerade this is heavy, oh my god. But we have Powerade. I love drinking Powerade because 
I tend to get dehydrated probably with all the caffeine that I'm consuming. So when I get dehydrated, water just like doesn't do enough. So Powerade is good. I get really bad dehydration headaches too. So I try to have that before I work out so that I don't start getting shooting pains in my head. So in the last bag, classic Caesar. I just hit myself in the face with that. Um, I love Caesar salad. Caesar salad with a little bit of this dressing mixed in. Um, this is the Olive Garden light Italian, but if you do Caesar salad and you put the Caesar packet and then you put a dash of this, it's so good. My friend showed me that and I literally lost my damn mind. And um, more granola bars. I wanted to try out this brand called Made Good. So we have birthday cake flavor and chocolate drizzled. Whenever I see birthday cake as a flavor option, I literally just have to buy it. Um, so yeah, this is vanilla confetti granola, birthday cake, similar component. I just love birthday cake stuff. Um, it's just so good, it's really good. And then um, now I just have, Oh my gosh, my nose is itching so bad. Now I have some smart sweets. We got peach rings and red twists. I've never seen the red twists before. Let us try together. Let's see what it's all about. It tastes a little bit healthy, but it's still really good. I'm gonna definitely order like a six pack of that on Amazon, but sometimes I like to just sample it before I commit to spending like 25 bucks on a pack of smart sweets so that was basically my sampler and the very last thing we have are these playtex sport tampons um that's everything that i got from target and trader joe's so oh wait there's one last thing the very last thing in this haul i completely forgot to show it because my mom put it away already but this is the Starbucks iced coffee vanilla, um, like cold roast, cold brew, cold brew. Yeah, it's a cold brew. So I'm actually, do I want to make coffee right now? I think I need some coffee. So I'm going to make some and show you my coffee recipe before I end today's video. Here's the coffee recipe. I'm sad because I forgot to get whipped cream. I wanted to get some whipped cream for like coffee and stuff like that. But first we're gonna pour the vanilla cold brew concentrate. It's not concentrate, but we're pouring the vanilla coffee into our mug. Let's do a sip without creamer. Genuinely, genuinely not bad without creamer. I could just drink it black since it has vanilla, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a 40 year old man. So this is Funfetti Coffee Creamer um, from Coffee Mate. I did also pick this up, I think at Target. Yeah, I think. So let's just add a little bit there. And then we're gonna taste it again. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so good. I would argue that this coffee is better than some Starbucks drinks because this Funfetti coffee creamer is legitimately the best coffee creamer ever invented. And then that medium roast with the vanilla tastes better than just the regular medium roast coffee that they have. So, mm. I could drink like 10 of these, like no, not even joking. And you know what you also can do? This isn't healthy, but caramel syrup, you can add that. Um, just do a bit because this is already not the most healthy coffee because of all the sugar and stuff, but when you add caramel, it just makes it a little bit better. Oh, sometimes what happens is the caramel gets on the straw and it doesn't actually disperse itself, but yum. So that is going to conclude my grocery haul. That's everything from Trader Joe's and Target. That coffee is so good. You should definitely try it out, my little recipe. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time.